How to use mifepristone and misoprostol for an abortion with pills in the first 13 weeks of pregnancy. Every day, women all around the world have safe medical abortions using mifepristone and misoprostol. When the instructions are followed properly, 95% of women will have a successful abortion. But remember, this information is useful for an abortion with pills in pregnancies that are 13 weeks or less, counted from the first day of your last menstrual period. Before starting, follow these guidelines. Verify the number of weeks of pregnancy to be sure you are below 13 weeks. Try to schedule your abortion when you do not have any other activities and you can rest. Although complications are rare, it is important to have somebody with you and a plan of action in case of emergency. Think about self-care. Stay hydrated, eat a meal, drink some tea, use a hot compress or have a hot shower to soothe any cramping, and have pain medication ready such as ibuprofen. Do everything that makes you comfortable as if you were on your menstrual period. Medical conditions that are contraindications. Medical abortions below 13 weeks of pregnancy are very safe for the majority of women. But if you have certain medical conditions, it is not recommended to use abortion pills. Mifepristone is not recommended if you have been using long-term steroids such as prednisone or dexamethasone. However, in this case, having an abortion with just misoprostol is possible. Both mifepristone and misoprostol are not recommended if you are using anticoagulants such as heparin or warfarin, you have a bleeding disorder such as porphyria, you have chronic adrenal failure, you are allergic to mifepristone, misoprostol, or prostaglandins. You have been diagnosed with an ectopic pregnancy. This requires specific treatment and you should seek medical care. If you have an IUD, you can still use the abortion pills, but it does require some precautions because cramping is likely to be more intense and an IUD increases the risk of having an ectopic pregnancy. So, whenever possible, it is safer to have the IUD removed prior to using the abortion pills. Pills and dosage. You will need one pill of mifepristone of 200 milligrams and eight pills of misoprostol of 200 micrograms each. If it is difficult to obtain eight pills, you can choose to proceed with only four pills of misoprostol, but the effectiveness will be reduced, especially if you are between nine and 13 weeks pregnant. The procedure. Step one, swallow one 200 milligram pill of mifepristone with a glass of water. The majority of women will not experience any symptoms after taking it. Therefore, you can continue with your everyday activities. If you throw up in the first 30 minutes after swallowing mifepristone, it is likely that the pill will not work. In this case, if you have an extra mifepristone, you'll need to repeat step one. Wait 24 to 48 hours. Step two. Take 800 milligrams of ibuprofen or an alternative pain medicine if you are allergic to ibuprofen. This step is not required, but it is highly recommended because ibuprofen will reduce the intensity of the cramps and help you manage the possible side effects of misoprostol. If you have anti-nausea medicine, you can use it at this time too. Wait one hour. Step three. Place four misoprostol pills of 200 micrograms each underneath your tongue. The pills must remain there for 30 minutes in order to be absorbed into your system. After 30 minutes, you can wash down the remnants of the pills with water. If you experience vomiting during the 30 minutes that you have the four misoprostol pills under your tongue, it is likely that the pills will not work. This means you will need to repeat step three with a new dose of four misoprostol pills. Wait three hours. Step four, place another four misoprostol pills of 200 micrograms each under your tongue for 30 minutes. 
Bleeding most commonly starts within several hours. If it has been 24 hours since your first misoprostol dose and you still have no bleeding or cramping, contact us. Do not use more pills until we can evaluate the situation together. Expected Symptoms You will know that the abortion has started when you experience heavy cramping and abundant bleeding, that is, similar or heavier than your regular period, accompanied by the expulsion of clots and tissue, and the same odor and color as your regular period. The duration of heavy bleeding and the intensity of the cramps varies from woman to woman. You can continue to take pain medicine throughout the procedure. Do not exceed the recommended dosage per day and do not use regular aspirin as it increases your bleeding risk when combined with ibuprofen. You can also use a hot compress on your stomach or warm drinks to alleviate the cramping. Side Effects Most women will not experience side effects after taking mifepristone, but misoprostol can cause diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, stomach ache, a light fever, and chills. These side effects are normal and temporary and will disappear in the next 24 hours or less. Warning Signs It is important to pay attention to your body and how you feel throughout the entire process. Although not common, there are some warning signs that require immediate medical attention. If you fill two or more pads in one hour or less, and this lasts for two consecutive hours or more. A fever of 38 degrees Celsius that does not decrease after taking ibuprofen or in the next 24 hours after using misoprostol, always confirm with a thermometer. Pain that does not get better after taking ibuprofen. The color or smell of your blood is very different from your regular period or has a bad odor. If you have redness or itchiness, or your hands, neck, and face are swollen, it is likely that you are having an allergic reaction to the medication. In this case, you can use an antihistamine. But if you find it difficult to breathe, then the allergic reaction is very serious and you need medical care immediately. Remember, if you need to seek medical attention, you do not have to say that you used abortion pills to induce an abortion, as the pills are not detectable if you have used them under your tongue. Post-abortion care. Having an abortion with pills takes around 15 days to complete. It is normal to experience some bleeding two or three weeks after taking the pills, but symptoms should continue to decrease. It is not mandatory to get an ultrasound, but if you want to confirm the completion, you will need to wait two weeks to do an ultrasound and four weeks to do a blood or urine test to make sure the results are accurate. In the following weeks or until your bleeding lightens, it is important to take the following precautions. Avoid introducing objects into your vagina, including tampons and menstrual cups. Avoid intense physical activity, exercising, carrying, pushing or pulling heavy objects, and walking more than normal or walking up too many flights of stairs. There is no evidence for a recommended amount of time that you must wait to have sex after using the abortion pills, but it is generally recommended that you wait until the heavier bleeding stops. Always listen to your body and desire. Your menstrual cycle may return in approximately four to six weeks. Your fertility can return very quickly, sometimes in as fast as eight days, which means you can get pregnant if you have unprotected sex. If you wish to prevent an unwanted pregnancy, it is recommended that you start a contraceptive method right away. If you have any questions at all, please get in touch with our counselors by email at info at safe to choose .org or by live chat on safe to choose .org. You can also find us on social media at safe to choose. We are here to support you.